So the historical building of the Institute for Quantum Optics and Quantum Information dates back in 1900s. Since then, many generations of scientists went through this building. Today, this building is the home of the Institute for Quantum Optics and Quantum Information of the Austrian Academy of Sciences. And it was founded in 2003 with the objective of creating a place for doing research in quantum optics and quantum information in Austria. Here at ICOCI Vienna, we conduct experimental theoretical research on foundations of quantum mechanics, on the physics of quantum information, and we develop new quantum technologies. The unique feature of all research efforts at ICOCI is looking for novel ways of testing quantum mechanics. This ranges for, from observing quantum correlation at very long distances, the interplay between two pillars of modern physics, quantum mechanics and general relativity, and even include search for potential new post-quantum physical phenomena. We study how the quantum framework imposes limits on the physical phenomena. Uh, you see, one would think that quantum mechanics is a very uh, wide theory and very rich theory that allows you to observe all kinds of crazy behavior, but that's not true. Actually, the very existence of a Hilbert space, which is something in which quantum mechanics is based on, uh, imposes a really strong limit on what you can expect to experience. So the task or the main goal of my group is to study those limits. Well, there are many questions that I would like to answer. So one of them uh, is, for example, what uh, the, the existence of a many-body quantum state implies for condensed matter experiments. In a condensed matter system, uh, you can estimate using neutron diffraction a number of parameters that are called uh, structure factors. Now, uh, how the values of these structure factors are limited by quantum theory is anybody's guess. This is a, an open problem that has been open for, for like, many decades and there has been no essential progress in the, yeah, in the last few years. And I would li I'd like to solve this problem. So ICOCI has given me a group leadership position and they have been given me enough funds to be economically independent and they, don't, they have given me complete uh, creative freedom. So there's nothing, I can, nothing else I can ask for. The main field of research of my group is to bring quantum technology into space. So far, experiments have been done on a tabletop experiment inside a laboratory, inside the shielded housing of our institute. And now we go out to the real world and we try to bring this technology we have developed in the, in the, in, over the last years, to bring that to a stage where we can launch them into space using a satellite. We, this we do in collaboration with partners from the industry and the European Space Agency. I want to achieve to bring this technology we have developed here in-house into space to really demonstrate that quantum technology can overcome these huge losses, huge distances which are available in, only in space, which are not available on ground. To demonstrate that the quantum physics which was developed to, to describe the interaction between a photon and an atom, so the smallest thing in the universe, that we can demonstrate that that same theory can describe a quantum state which is transmitted over many thousands, if not kilomet million kilometers between satellites in space. The main focus of my group now is quantum entanglement in all kinds of uh, ways uh, with uh, photons, with atoms and, and its applications, particularly for uh, communication over large distances, for cryptography, for teleportation, etc. We did an experiment in the Hofburg Castle in Vienna in a basement and we measure the polarization of a photon here, uh, which is the way uh, it oscillates. And you see that the other photon's polarization is instantly connected to uh, this one, faster than the speed of light. We are collaborating with the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The goal is to put a satellite into space, which will, will allow to communicate with various ground stations using individual quanta as the carriers of information. That means the smallest energy you can have. And we view this as uh, developing in the long uh, run a quantum internet. 
which would be able to carry much more information than what you can do today in a much safer way. Currently, I'm working on two different projects. The first one, uh, we want to distribute a quantum key from a satellite. So here you see a ground station. With this ground station, we want to receive this quantum key from a satellite. With the help of this quantum key, you can even communicate on a classical channel like the internet, unconditionally secure. The second project I work on uh, is a so-called cosmic bell test. There we test the fundamental of quantum mechanics with the help uh, of random numbers. We get these random numbers from the edge of the universe uh, with two big telescopes. Everyone is invited to visit us here at the Institute for Quantum Optics and Quantum Information. And if you are really interested, maybe you can join us in our research group. It's really fun and we really address nice questions to nature. And it's really cool if they get answered within our experiments. In the group, we are interested in addressing questions about space, time and causality. For instance, a particular project we are working on at the moment is the entanglement of quantum clocks through gravity. Uh, so we try to answer the question, uh, to what uh, which is what happens when uh, two quantum clocks are um, in, in, uh, attract each other via gravitational field and um, in particular, which are the consequences in measuring time. And we see that uh, under certain assumptions, uh, there is a, a fundamental uncertainty in how time can be measured. A very good thing about Ikoki is the social interaction between the group members and the possibility to discuss and compare ideas with different groups and people who have, who have different background. So quantum information brought a fundamentally new information theoretic perspective into physics questions. What I hope for future for Alcoki Vienna, that we keep attracting young, enthusiastic people who share this vision and perspective. And when we achieve a critical mass, I hope that one or two or few of them will come up with a truly remarkable new ideas and make a breakthrough in our understanding of nature and its physical laws.